Happy Sukkot everyone from me and Barakat. It is Sukkot. Today is a really exciting day. The whole city is like buzzing with excitement. The, all, the whole atmosphere is no butter, don't touch. I don't know if this is gonna work. Today is the Sukkot parade that ICJ, the link for that will be below, does every single year. Basically, the premise of it is that all the nations that love Israel, most of them are Christians, come and bless Israel and show them how much they love them. Every nation has their own traditional clothing and they have their own music and drums and then they're just so happy and they hand out little candies and things like that. It's just really spectacular. Also, Israel has connected to this very long lasting parade that happens every year in Sukkot, according to the prophecy here in this little scripture. Every year till now, I have actually, because I'm in media, I've been filming within the parade. This year, I am an observer. It's in city center, so I'm gonna have to make my way down there, catch a good spot, and film all the things for you guys. After that, I'll give some life updates and my thoughts on some other stuff, so stay tuned. Let's go meet Shacha for the parade. I can already feel the excitement. You guys can hear the music. We're here with Shachar and the parade is heading our way. I will show you guys how many people there are. It's only a little tiny sliver of the amount of people that will be here, but it's a good start. Sukkot is also known as the Feast of Tabernacles and you can read about it in Leviticus 23. It's a really fun holiday that commemorates God's miracles when he delivered the Israelites out of Egypt. So he commanded us to build a sukkah, which is a little tiny booth that people decorate and eat in and also sleep in for seven days. It also tells us to observe the Feast of the Harvest of the first fruits of our labor. During Sukkot, the nations come and visit Israel just as it says in Zechariah. It is so cool to see prophecy fulfilled right in front of your eyes. This parade definitely fulfills that prophecy. Okay guys, that is the end of the parade that is still behind me, it's still going on. It was absolutely insane to see how many people come to love Israel. They just want to bless Israel. They want Israel to be saved and it's just incredible to me. I literally started crying. It was so exciting to me. Well, hello everyone. 
It is a Sabbath. Before I recap on my time with Shacha at the parade, yesterday was a Friday and Haimoni and I went home to be with my family and it was actually really nice. We had a lot of just joy and laughter. We ate Turkish delight that my mom brought. She must have brought like five kilos home, like no joke. So we tried that and then we watched old home videos of us and it was hilarious. And they had these 90s like transitions between shots. It was just really cool to see my parents as new parents and their mistakes and the things that they used to do. And it was also just cool to see my dad young and vibrant and I'm sure that's what he's doing now in heaven. Anyway, so that was a lot of fun. But to talk about the parade, it was very special in the sense that I did not expect my reaction. I'm telling you guys, I thought I was gonna go down there with Shachar and just enjoy the parade. And I, I literally at some point started crying. And so this was really, really different for me. I started to get an excitement in my spirit because what I felt was that all these nations, all these people, they saved up money, they took time off, and they came to Israel to show Israel that they love them. That's incredible, that's insane. Especially when there's so much information that's misconstrued about Israel. I think what I was feeling was the joy of spending eternity with all of the nations of the world. I know that sounds very grand and very vague, but when you think about the joy that will be when we all get to spend eternity together, all the nations of the world, all of God's children, and all of their uniqueness, it just made me so happy and I just started crying. It was more than a parade, it was almost like this wedding procession or something of showing love to God. And I think that was just what hit me. I did not expect that at all. And the connecting factor between them and Israel wasn't anything apart from the love of God that caused them to parade in the streets of Jerusalem and literally just shout out, we love Israel, God bless Israel, we love you. And so I just want to say, if you ever have a chance during Sukkot to come to Jerusalem and enjoy the parade, please do it. It is so worth it. It's just filled with so much joy. But I also wanted to give a little update on where I am as far as work goes. So you guys know that I am a freelance writer and a content creator, and I'm really just trying my best to keep my head above the water, work as much as I can with the little energy that I have. And I'm actually really proud of myself because I'm trying and I'm doing it, I'm doing the work. But the more time goes on, I realize that I don't want to be limited to writing for other people. I really want to write for myself and the opinions and the things that I believe. And so I think I'm moving more towards creating video content like I'm doing now and also trying to publish short stories and eventually longer stories. I'm really, really grateful for all of my clients, like I truly am. But I'm just realizing that I feel like God has given me a specific message. You carry a message, I carry a message, and we all get to represent different things. And I just want to be faithful to present those things in a way that I can. The main point in wanting to create my own content is so that people will know that God loves them, that he's a healer, that he is the connector of people and not the opposite, and that God still has a plan for Israel and the nations. And so that is sort of where I'm at and what I'm trying to achieve. So I think it's going to take a bit of time to get there. You don't get there overnight. It's going to take a lot of effort, but you guys should know that that is the direction that I am heading at. And also, I just wanted to say thank you to all the new subscribers. I know I have a very small channel right now. It's about 650 something. But you guys should know that I really do appreciate every single one of you. I'm so grateful for the people that comment, for the people that watch, for the people that share. It really does mean the world to me. So that doesn't go unnoticed. And you should know that I really do believe that every single person, every viewer is a world. So it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality. And you guys are quality people, let me tell you that. So that was just my little update spiel. Apart from that, Sukkot has been really fun. It's almost over. I love having a sukkah, but this year was a bit different. We didn't have a sukkah at home, partially because of the fact that my mom and I were in Turkey, which are the next two vlogs, so look out for that. And also my siblings at home were sick for like a whole week. So we didn't build a sukkah, but I did get to be in different places where I could eat in the sukkah or sit in the sukkah, which is very nice. And hopefully next year won't be as odd. It's especially different now that we don't have my dad to build the sukkah and he had this makeshift way of turning the whole balcony into a sukkah. So yeah, I really miss that, but life is different now. The holidays feel a bit strange because no one knows how to do the holidays now without my dad. 
and it's just sort of learning a whole new way of living so a whole lot to get used to anyways that is it for this vlog i wanted to tell you guys that i love you i'm so grateful for you if you're new here then feel free to subscribe hit the notification bell and if you're not new here then welcome 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 back and i will see you guys in the vlog very very soon